it's in linkage. I don't know the word that you would use for that. This is really difficult today. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, but it's now run by Thoughts on Tomes. So I'll leave both their links down below, as well as the link for the Goodreads group for topics and whatnot. This week's Top 5 Wednesday topic is your top five fantasy and sci-fi books and it is a crossover topic with the booktube sff award so i'll leave the link for that down below as well so without further ado let us get started i don't really read a lot of sci-fi fantasy i think mostly i read like thriller or contemporary books honestly i don't really understand genres that much and i never know like what i'm actually reading and what like category it is so my five i think they're sci-fi Honestly, I have no idea. So if they're not, I'm sorry. But this is what we're going with. So there you go. So my first book is the Entire Infernal Devices Trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I think this counts as fantasy. I mean, there's like demons and stuff in it. And like demons aren't real. So like fantasy, right? Uh. I love these books. I love all the characters. I love the world. I think it's so like magical. I think I definitely like these books better than I like the Mortal Instruments. I haven't finished the Mortal Instruments yet, but... The Inferno Devices it just has a nice place in my heart, and also Will and Gem, so like, you know. It has to be on a favorites list. The second book that I chose is The Novice by Taran Matharu. This is the first book in the Summoner trilogy. The third book is coming out in May, so I'm like super excited about it. The second book is The Inquisition. I like The Inquisition better, but I figured I should hold up like, you know, the first book, so people read the first book before the second book. This book is about Fletcher, who is a demon summoner. So he can basically call demons and then he fights people and it's just like so addictive. I really didn't think I would enjoy this book very much, but I loved it. I have a review of it if you want to see. His little demon is like the cutest thing ever. He's like a little dragon and I just can't. I just can't with how cute he is. I'm pretty sure this is fantasy as well. So look at me not knowing my genres like always. My third book I feel is like a super underrated series. I love it. I thought it was really good, but a lot of people are kind of like iffy on it. But it is the Half Bad Trilogy by Sally Green. I love Nathan as a main character. I think he's so cool. He's a half white witch, half black witch, which means he's half good, half evil. His father Marcus is the biggest, baddest black witch in all the land. And basically everybody's afraid of him because of it. And I just, I love it so much. I think it's so good. And I love Gabriel, who is Nathan's best friend. And, and I think I liked Half Wild the most, which is the second book, and the third book is Half Lost, which, like, I liked, but the ending was just a no-no for me. Like, it was such a stupid ending, and I was so pissed about it, but that's, like, a whole other story. And then my last two books are sci-fi books. I think. <laughs> Again, I don't know. My first one is These Broken Stars by Megan Spooner and Amy Kaufman. I loved this book. I listened to it on audiobook. Highly recommend it. Like, it's so good on audiobook. I just loved the world, and I loved Lilac and Tarver, and I just... It was such a good story. I haven't read the rest of them. I don't own them, but I would love to. And also, like, this cover is beautiful, so... And then my final book on this list should come to no surprise if you've been watching my channel for a while. I'm obsessed with this series and this author. It is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I love this series. I took so long to actually read it. Now I am, like, hooked on this world. I am hooked on all the characters. I love them all. Captain Thorn is my baby angel unicorn. And I just, I highly recommend this series if you haven't read it already, but you probably have because everybody has. So, real good one, real good one. They're fairy tale retellings, which are like one of my favorites kind of things. So, you know, you'll go like this one. Alright guys, so that was my top five Wednesday for this week. I hope that it actually counted as fantasy sci-fi because as I said, I don't understand genres because I just, I just don't. I'm not that smart. But I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!